I'm greatly honored to have the opportunity to deliver this address on behalf of the graduating class of the College of Health Sciences and College of Basic and Applied Sciences at this November 2017 congregation. Today is a day for us, the graduating class, as well as our families, friends, and well-wishers to rest from our labors, reflect on our accomplishments, revel in our successes, and look ahead to the future. We are grateful to God for his help throughout our respective periods of study in this great institution. We are particularly grateful that we have the unique opportunity to pursue our various degrees in one of the top 10 universities in Africa, and certainly the best institution of higher learning in the West African sub-region. Indeed, the boundary lines are falling for us in pleasant places. I would also at this time like to express our profound gratitude to our parents, spouses, administrators, lecturers, siblings and friends for their support in our scholastic pursuits. Surely the end of the road would have been but a dream without your help and encouragement. Today would not have been possible without you all. We will not forget your sacrifice. Mr. Chairman, Pursuing a program in the sciences as undergraduates and postgraduates has been both extremely challenging and rewarding. We are confident that the fiscal, mental and emotional demands our various programs of study placed on us have prepared us adequately to build on the successes of the sciences in Ghana and indeed globally, as well as face squarely any challenges we may be presented with. I'm quite certain that each of us at some point in our journey questioned if we were cut out for our respective programs. Indeed, no discipline ever seems pleasant at the time. In the end, however, it produces a harvest. We remember quite fondly now studying histology and histopathology with a proverbial eye of pain. We remember the avalanche of back-to-back -back eyes we had to take. We remember all the washing we received, clean and unclean. We remember all the MCTs we had to code at final level. My colleagues from the basic and applied sciences will remember the many practical requirements they had to fulfill to earn their degrees. My colleagues from the School of Public Health will most certainly recall the formula and figures they were inundated with in their biostatistics classes. Perhaps what the doctors and dentists remember most fondly is the sinking feeling we had in the pits of our stomachs when during the ward rounds the consultant would make an abrupt stop next to the patient's bed and ask the dreaded question, whose patient is this? <laughs> it wasn't all work though. The drudgery of studying was punctuated by momic nights, health weeks and walks, Champions League games in the TV rooms, and weekend getaways with friends and family. As we look ahead to the future, I would like to submit to the graduating class that there has been no better time to graduate as professionals in our various fields than at this time. This is not because a special set of circumstances have converged to produce a Kairos moment. Neither is it because the stars have particularly aligned at this moment in history. There has been no better time to graduate as professionals in our various fields because you and I are graduating at this time. We tend to forget that no matter how small and insignificant we may feel in the grand scheme of things, we are all essential cogs in the wheel that drives society forward. The thing that are not equal is a saying we are all familiar with. Talent-wise, we are all very different. We should, however, never give room for anyone to question our work ethic. We, not, we may not be as skilled now as for Adidas at clinching the diagnosis, but hard work will always bear fruit in time. Let us cast aside the bonds of mediocrity and strive to be great in our various fields. Greatness, however, is somewhat an ill-defined term measured by so many standards the world over. In my humble opinion, greatness is when as a doctor or dentist you take some time off your busy schedule to interact with the lonely, terminally ill cancer patients on your ward. Greatness is when as a health professional, your joy and laughter lift weary souls as a spouse in Alison Chambers' nurse's prayer. Greatness is when as a researcher, either in public health or in the basic and applied sciences, you report the data you obtain with truth and integrity as advocated in our university anthem. Greatness is when across all our professions, we remain humble and open to different opinions 
because our ultimate goal is to grow and get better at our craft. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to conclude by sharing my two favorite words, believe and together. Believe because all things are possible to the one who believes. And according to Henry Ford, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. Together because none of us have come this far on our own. Throughout our training in this institution, we have enjoyed the heights of success. Walk the dark alleys of despair and disappointment and bounce back from major and minor setbacks. We have done all these together. Let's not change the winning team. Let us rise together, build together, excel together. Let us be together. Class of 2017, let's do this. Long live the College of Health of Digital Applied Sciences. Long live the University of Ghana. Long live Ghana. Thank you.